Am I working? Can you guys hear me? La 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 la. Uh, I think it should be on. Hopefully. I swear if my sister isn't here now, I'm gonna be mad. <sighs> There's two lights for that? Hmm. Hmm. I put the thirty on, so I put that. I'm I'm not sure. Um. We'll go for that. I don't know. Hmm. Hi, Shorty. I can hear you. I don't know, one then. I was gonna say for us to react to part of this better on our Discord, but I don't know. I mean, y'all won't be able to say much. No trolling. If you guys troll my chat, I'm going to kick you off. Hmm. Oh my God, what am I trying to do? What's weird is it's saying here I have no viewers, but I can see everybody here. Hmm. What the heck? Hmm. What can I do? Hmm. Guys, please don't troll my chat bar or I will get mad. Hmm. Trying to figure out what I want to do. I'm really getting me annoyed. All right. Well, for some reason it says here I have. I don't know. I wonder if um you're gonna mess it up. Okay. If it messes up, sorry. There it goes. Sorry about that. Ooh. I wonder why my I have no viewers, but doesn't mean you guys are probably watching, so I'm not I'm gonna you know say anything. Hmm. <laughs> eh, my throat is weird. Hmm. Okay, now it says one viewer. Uh, okay, well, it'll do. I don't know. Uh, hold on. Well, don't know, don't care. We'll figure out later. So, hope you guys can hear me fine, I think. Like I said, I'm doing two things at once. I have my phone here for, as a mic. Um... So I don't know how much. I was going to think of the beginning to let us watch and react. Well, you guys can hear it, but I can to write it, not write it, Discord, daughter of Discord, but I don't think that'd be fair for you guys. And if you guys don't know it, um, then, oh, well, so that won't work out. What I'm going to guess I'm going to try to do is have us play games. You know, like I, I used to do, um, see, this is what I would have done. This. I can't even see it. 
this is what I would have done. I would have had us react to out of Discord, but I don't think you'd be able to understand what was happening if you couldn't hear it. Although I am happy that they made an episode 7 already. Yay! Um, also, okay, so, um, this, I've been telling everybody the story of what happened to me already. Um, so, I haven't mentioned it for the millionth or freaking time. I am the person that suffers from an anxiety so badly. So, <laughs> um, let me think what day was that? Was it that? It was the worst day. I had the worst thing, the worst day that happened was Friday. Now, if you don't know, I work two jobs part time one from there in the summer and one that I do all year round. Um, I had three attacks in a row at my first job here. Um, which, uh, is that a restaurant I work at? Um, but I had three attacks and I didn't even start my day of work yet and it just happened. Um, so here's how the day how it went. So, I, okay, it's kind of weird. I don't know if I mentioned this in the video. I may have mentioned it. I don't remember now. Um, I started new medicine just recently. And I'm kind of still annoyed that my family didn't tell me this would be a side effect. Um, but I started it recently, and I had to go to work uh, from, I don't remember the time, 11-something, maybe? I don't know. Um, so I'm up there. I walk in, went to the locker room to go change, and I, I have no idea what really happened. Like, I got so dizzy, and I had to fall to the ground to, you know, gain some balance here. So, uh, I was on the ground, and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm having a panic attack. Um, for what I thought was a panic attack. Um, so I knock on the door, because I know there's a co-worker outside, um, outside the door. Tell him I'm having an attack. I need some help. Um, my, one of my managers comes up to me asking if I should call the ambulance. I told her, go ahead. Um, but I don't know why, because at that moment I wasn't thinking. I mean, because, like, I'm going, my breathing's, like, going super fast, and my chest is getting really cramped up. Um, so she calls them. Um, my friend Cedric is kind of trying to calm me down, you know, tell me to deep, take deep breaths. Um, I do that. Um, after about a minute or two or three, I can't remember. Um, I calmed down and I told him to have me get a, get a seat on the chair and give me my water, uh, my water bottle. Um, anyway, so, uh, so we did that. Um, I started drinking my water and I'm trying to calm down. Um, Candace is at, asking questions to me. The paramedics are asking me, like, do I suffer from, um, asthma? And I told her no. Well, then something else happens that it's never happened to me before. I have another attack. But this one, this is involuntary. What I mean by that is, like, I don't really know why it's happening. Um, and it just, oh my gosh, that first attack was an involuntary one because I wasn't thinking of anything that would make me anxious. Yet, I still haven't figured out why. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm getting freaked out because I never had this many attacks in one whole day. Um, and so I'm freaking out, and I told Cedric, okay, put me back on the floor because I don't want to fall out of my chair and hurt myself more, or make the situation worse, so he does. Um, but he told, he has Candace escort me into back into the locker room to lay down, and I have another bag of clothes from my other uniform for my other job I was going to go to on that day. So, uh, I'm laying down, and I tell Cand I tell my manager to call my mom and have her get over here because she would tell her what my new medicine was, because off the bed, I couldn't remember. I still don't remember it. Um, I try to fill her in that I'm, it may be my new, med my new medicine I'm starting, that my body hasn't really started to get adjusted with it, or it's kind of rejecting a little bit. Um, so my mom is freaking out, and she's telling me then that she's driving like a crazy lady on the road trying to get to me. Um... Because I'm also still freaking out because I've never had this many panic attacks in one day. So, um, so after I talk to her, the paramedics show up and escort me onto the, um, 
on a stretcher and buckle me down and try to keep me talking and all. Um, and then we walked straight through, straight through the dining room where I could see customers looking at me. It's like, oh my gosh, what happened now? Um, and I see my coworkers looking a little worried for me. And by the way, they all knew I suffer from anxiety. They just never see me have it that bad. So anyway, I'm on the, I'm on the ambulance and I'm in the ambulance with the paramedic. A couple of paramedics. They ask me questions, and since I'm over the, I'm I'm 21 and older. I have the right to choose if I want to go to a hospital or not, and have someone pick take me home. I told them though that my mom was picking me up, and they were worried that they can stay that long. And I, I had to call my mom and ask where she's at, and she said she's five minutes away. She, uh, what the funny part was that she didn't seem to know that I put the phone on speaker so literally the ambulance the paramedics could actually hear what we were talking about which is funny and I kept interrupting her it's like oh, hey mom 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 hold on. um but, but then I had to go <laughs> so she hung up <sighs> so she finally did show up and told the paramedics that I had just started new medicine and it would take me a couple of weeks for my body to get used to it <sighs> so then my mom went to talk to the managers, there's two of them, and tell her, um, tell them what happened and that I couldn't do counter orders because that's the next thing that kind of spooked me of doing counter orders. Um, we talked, she talked to them saying specifically that I could not do that. Um, after that, I was able to rest and go home and um, rest for about an hour or so, calm myself down. And the funny thing is my grandma and I discussed that Oh, yeah, the psychiatrist prescribed me antihistamine to help me with my panic attacks that would calm me down in the span of 30 minutes. And I'm like, well, we are very stupid not to remember that. <sighs> so from now on, I'm actually having a, a tablet of antihistamine with me at all times because, well, anytime I go like out anywhere. So that day went kaput. I did not expect that to happen to me at all. Anyway, let's let's focus on what we're really here for. <laughs> Alrighty, so um I'm trying to find some games that we could do, but I don't know. Was that what I out? So um let me try to see. Uh da 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 <sighs> Okay. Anyway, so that's my day. How's y'all's been? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's, it was a rough day that day. I was exhausted, literally, when I got home. And I hope that didn't happen. I think I may have had another one the next day or something, but I don't know. It's been rough. As I said, girl, I mean, living with anxiety is not that easy, especially... It wasn't probably the best idea to start my new medicine midway through my job. Probably wasn't the best idea. Um, but I'm happy. I, um, I, what if I worked today, but I had to call in sick again, because I just do not feel myself still. And I'm still having, like, partial side effects from my medicine. Um, and like I said, even my paramedics had agreed that it'll take me a couple weeks for my medicine to get adjusted with um, in me. So, good thing, though, is after today, I will have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday off. And I, no, not Friday, I don't think. So, I'll have about four days off. And I'm thinking, hopefully, by then, my medicine would have, you know, gotten me, I would have gotten used to it. I won't know, but I'm hoping. And I'm also happy because tomorrow, I don't have to go to work at either jobs tomorrow. It'll be Labor Day. Um, so that's good. It'll also give me time to get some homework out of the way. I should have been started that already, but I tend to forget that part. People and students, if you're watching this, please don't ever forget to do your homework. Um, it's very important that you do. Anyway, now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, um... We might play some games today. I don't know. Mm. 
Uh, yeah, if you hear my sister, I apologize. She's very loud. I hate when I'm looking up for games. I can't even see what I'm freaking doing. I'm sorry. Um, sorry about that. I thought I was showing you, and I guess I wasn't. It's not what I want. Um. Uh, this one? No. Uh, well, maybe. No, I can hear you. It's no. No, Shorty, I'm not coming down. I have told you, I am streaming and I'm busy. Has that girl had her medicine yet? I hope she does. <sighs> anyway, as I was saying, let's see what games I can play. Not this much. Doesn't really look like there's much either. People know they sound not really. I'm gonna pretend I can't hear Shorty, so we can play. Um what else? Have y'all ever played Riddle School? If you haven't, that game was freaking awesome. Krista, hush! No. I hate when people, I hate when people interrupt me when I'm in the middle of stream. I do not want to download anything. Please go away. Sorry, people be here yelling between us. It's me trying to tell my sister to buzz off. A nice big sister, aren't I? Yeah, no. Don't, don't judge me. We have a... Um, okay, so this is a... I'm gonna play this game. If y'all haven't played real school, y'all are missing out a lot. Krista, I'm busy! Too bad! I think I may have seen this before. You're listening to addition problems for two hours straight. I'm stuck in the special class just because I teach someone a little. I think I might actually be smarter than this teacher. No kidding, especially if that person is saying two plus zero equals zero. What is 131 plus 42 again? I forget it. Where is a bird? If that bird were struck in a, is stuck in a cage. All right, that's it. I'm getting out of school. Wait, this is a plus sign. Not the one that makes things bigger or smaller. Oh, yay, 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 yay. I'm with you, kid. I'm with you. Okay, so I've never played this one before. You can tell the school's low budget just by looking at it. I actually could agree there. No outlet here. What? What's an outlet? Oh, right, whatever. A sharpener? That's it. I can't go up there empty-handed. We'll get a pencil then, you think? I'm clicking. I'll take this pencil, but I refuse to take any notes. Okay, ew, I don't care if it was not mine. I can't. Updates here. I can't believe I touched that old gum. I don't like when people actually do put gum under the chair. Why do you people do that? Seriously. Hey, teacher, may I sharpen my pencil, please? Okay, but only one of you is allowed at a time. No, duh, I think I'm the only one. 
that was sharp. I uh, just can't believe I just said that. I can't believe you did either. No way. Okay, vote five. Five is a popular guy in school. It's probably because of his cool vote five slogan. Kind of makes you want to go vote by yourself, doesn't it? Not really. Because I don't understand that reference. Is that a reference? I have no idea. Okay, at least I don't have to worry about, I don't think, I don't know if I have lockers. Oh, I got a hall pass, too. Got a water. <laughs> Time sink. I don't get it. Miss, uh, what was her name again? Oh, Miss Coffee. Oh, I spelled it weirder, though. That's my regular teacher, Miss Coffee. She drinks more coffee than anyone else I know. She teaches so quickly that we always finish early, so she has to find extra work for us. It's almost impossible to understand what she's saying when she talks that fast. I wouldn't blame her. Wow, a feather duster in a dustpan? How ironic. That's Smiley. I always thought Smiley was a guy. I don't know why. Just me. She's the only one in school who actually likes learning. Smiley is also the one I made fun of, which landed me in that special class. Well, that's your fault. That's Fred, my best friend. Me. He might get even more bored in class than me. And, of course, that's Zach. He's always as cool as ice for some reason. Last week he froze the fountain solid, and now it doesn't work properly. Not surprised. Zach says he saw a clown hiding that hole, but I don't believe him. I wouldn't either. Ooh, dog bro. That's a drawing by someone named John Bro. Ooh. Okay. It's probably the nicest thing in this entire school. It's freaking creepy. Looking out there reminds me that I'm trapped in here. I wouldn't be surprised. I would be too, feeling that way. Okay, see you guys later. Don't think there's anything else. Does the janitor need something? You need your... You found my feather duster. You're a real lifesaver. Been looking all over for the school for this. We'll keep up with your stuff. The birds on the playground need dusting. Say what? Here's a dollar, kid. Don't waste it on socks. Oh, my lord. Sorry, my sister's really being a pest right now. Okay, I'll get out of your stinking closet. Hey, sorry. <sighs> what does put user in a timeout mean? Told you. Now my, th my good sister will not talk for 300 seconds. Okay, so that's the janitor's closet. Okay. What the?
Sheesh. Okay, well, back to what I was actually doing. Sorry about that. Okay. What the... Stream shouldn't be doing that. Okay. You learn something new with this every day, apparently. Oh, yay, yay. I was saying, so, I was not here. That's backwards. Re... Oh, orange, oh, orange on my fave color. I thought that was backwards. He sign a dog and something else. I don't know. So, I'm sorry. Sync comes from Penrose Ink. Never figured out how to use it. I usually wash up in the fountain outside. Didn't think you would do that, but okay. A shiny ring. What a precious looking ring. Okay. <laughs> I like how that option's not even an option. Okay, uh, oh, great, it's a hall monitor. Oh, I'm dead great. Hi, Phil, it's me, Richie. I am a hall monitor now. Do you have your hall pass? I can't let you pass without one. Really? You used to be a lot nicer, Richie. Here's my pass now. Get out of my way. Teacher's lounge, it's locked. The teachers are very protective of their lounge. Not surprised. Oh, it's you. You need a cookie? She don't have one, actually. Why are you always blocking the office? Does the, does the principal give you cookies for free or something? I'll never know. Hmm. Okay, this is always the harder part to figure out actually what to do. Because I never actually know what I'm doing in this part. Um... Uh, let's think. I wonder. <laughs> uh. Okay, obviously I can't do anything there. Um. I would have. Hmm. What else can I do? Shoo-ba-doo-ba-doo. Hmm. Oh, what am I doing? There's bacteria. Oh, it's great. Eh, that's what it looks like before. Sounds easy enough. I got all the deal. Engine all available staff, there's some kid crying. Wow. Ow. Yeah, usually she doesn't catch those slip ups. Barricaded in the office by some kind of yellow bolt. <laughs> yellow boulder. Will someone from the teacher's lounge please handle this? That means now it should be quite open for me to go. And there goes the teacher. And now I can get some things. Uh, but what? I don't really know. This is not much of a teacher's lounge. Wait. 
Ooh, the ring I found fits perfectly into the slot. Secret, what the? This is more like what I expected. The thing had been kicking a cabbage around the recess. Because they can't afford a soccer ball. Gosh, these, this cookie box is empty. Lion Pig is our school mascot. Too bad we don't have any sports teams. Or even a gym, for that matter. Not surprised. Hmm. The last cookie. I need a cookie and I'm getting mad. Did he? Did the teacher eat the last cookie? Okay, well, what am I gonna do? I don't know. I'm getting mad. Like, seriously mad. I, I'm freaking... I've been everywhere. I have the ring. What can I do with this freaking pencil here, huh? <sighs> There's a reason I have a pencil. I know that. That's a cookie. It'll do. It'll do. Take the cookie. Oh wow! Well. Don't don't judge. Don't call your teachers that. We here. Um. Any doctor pencil? Did you set me up? Okay. Well, that didn't work. Plan two. Talk to the principal. It's an emergency. It's not one of my emergency, ma'am. I tell my joke. Are always fun. Go right in. Wow, that worked. I didn't think it would work. Yeesh. Here, key, key, key. Hey. What? Close call. I better hurry out into here. Getting out of here. I'm out of here. Yay. Let's see. Okay, so that was that game. Doobie 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 doob. Type the tube clicker. Okay, that sounds so weird in a way to me. Let's see. As you see, the Riddle School games are pretty high on the playlist. Ooh, Riddle Transfer. Be prepared for this brand new adventure. School game, tra Riddle Transfer 2. You'll be playing for hours as your skills are put to the test. This brand new browser game. I didn't know Riddle Transfer was here. This is the original, by the way. Um... Hmm. Okay, there's nothing there. Sort the cord. Um...
with it. These criminals are the worst and only deserve the worst kind of punishment, but it's up to you to figure out how to how in this fun browser game. Okay. Um <laughs> monkey madness. Flirting on school. That was an old game I used to play. Don't ask me why. It's funny. I mean, they played it because it was funny. I mean, it is. I mean. Huh. Ooh, I play this game. I never actually heard of this game. Um, we're just gonna be playing a lot of random games right now, cause I feel like it. Let's get that. Um, I actually never played this game, so I'm gonna be kind of interested. I mean, it looks familiar to me, like I've played it before somewhere, I don't know. Okay, so the proposal. It was supposed to be the best day of my life. I was planning last with my girlfriend, Becky, to marry me. While I was in the jewelry store to pick up the ring, I saw this weird guy with a frying pan on his head. Seemed upset when I told the sales lady that I was planning on proposing tonight to Becky at the Grand Hall. Why? After I left the jewelry store with my ring, I made a reservation at the Or Orchid Hotel. I can't read. As I got back home, I saw the envelope taped to my door. Dear Josh, I hate you when I'm leaving you forever. Yours truly, Becky. P.S. I wish a crocodile would bite your face. I feel like that guy has something to do with it. I knew that it wasn't Becky's handwriting. I tried to call her, but there was no answer, so I drove straight to her home only to find what had happened. Now only four hours before the grand ball to get my sweet Becky back. I think you can help. Okay, so you're at Becky's building. Um, Door's unlocked. All well, the furniture's gone. This photo was taken during our first date. How did it end up on the floor? I don't know. Uh, okay. Is there a timer on here? Doesn't look like it. Um. What do I do? I don't know. System sound, please be bringing a copy. Do I really need to bring a printed out copy? Uh, start with that. Huh. What room did he say it was? I can't remember. I wasn't even paying attention. Man. I'm doing terrible so far. Door's no knob. Why would you have a door with no knob? I'm not gonna even ask why there's a... I'm not gonna actually even gonna try. Um... Was it nine? Was it... Eh, no. No, no, no. Is he not? What? What? I'm not gonna even ask either. I don't know. Do we have singers? Uh, it's not what I wanted. Hate, I hate that thing. That's why I don't. I don't understand why people like casinos that much. I don't understand either. Just seems like a big old waste of time. In my mind, it is. Huh? Let's see. Yeah, because I don't even remember what door I even said it would be on. Fortune teller. I'm short on octopus ink. Okay, I can... Uh, um, don't really know where I would get that, but okay. Okay. 
I don't know if that food actually will help me. I have $45. I don't know why I did that. Oh, they're octopus. What if I keep doing that? What do you want me to do? Ah, oh, that's who he is. Really? I could take that bucket maybe and I could, I don't know really. Okay, what's it say? No idea. That person did not seem nice. Now I can do this. Oh, okay. Thank you. Fortune Taylor, here is that weird octopus ink. Ninety dollars. Jerk. Okay. That did not help me at all. Okay. Maybe if I go back to the hotel, I can hand this lady my rooms three, floor ten. Okay. Okay, floor ten, room So, what was that I picked up? I have no idea what I picked up. It looks like, I don't know what that looks like, actually. Is that a match? It looks like a match. What would I do with a match? Did I burn something with that? I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. What the frick do I do? Somebody's getting mad! And I think it's me. <sighs> Maybe if I... I don't really trust spending my money to the casino. But...
That's why. Okay, I got a crowbar. Hmm. I have only one dollar. Great. Uh, I guess the stream's not that very interesting right now that I think about it, so, I don't know. I'm gonna end it here. Um, guess right now, because it doesn't seem like very interesting work. I, I'm, I'm gonna have more time tomorrow, so I'll see y'all then. See ya!